Hello, it's Richard Curtis here. I'm here today to talk to you about the bedroom door. Should it be open or should it be closed? Now, my advice to you, having worked with lots of children, my advice to you is, if actually you've got a child who wants the bedroom door open because of light, then install a plug-in light or have a low lamp in their bedroom um, and do keep the door closed. Because what you will find is, it, you know, if you're a single mum or if you're a family, what you'll find is if you have the bedroom door open, the child will be conscious of what's happening in the house and different movements. Um, particularly, you know, say for example, you, you have one of your friends pop round after you've, you've put them to bed and things like that. that then means that your child will be kind of earwigging and listening in to what's happening even if you think that, that they're not someone that, that purposely listens in what will happen is their brain will be conscious that there is something different happening in the house and they'll hear different sounds so actually that doesn't help with the calm atmosphere so my advice is as a, a when you can, now obviously I'm not talking babies, but when you can, when the children are older, actually to have the bedroom door closed and to have a night light in the room just to give a little bit of the dull glow, but not a bright light that keeps us awake. And also you haven't then got lots of sounds coming in through an open doorway, you know, down the hallway. Right, I hope that's useful and I'll see you soon.